Hey my friends, I'm Brian, this is Man of Faith Ministries. You've joined us today for chapter 3 of 2 Timothy in our New Testament reading, one chapter at a time to help you understand it. You can go back, replay it. There are, is a link in the description to all the other chapters from the very first chapter of Matthew and we will end up getting right to the end of Revelation. Let's get stuck into it. Chapter 3 of 2 Timothy titled, Difficult Times Will Come. But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal, haters of God, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness, although they have denied its power. Avoid such, such men as these. Verse 6, for among them are those who enter the, enter the into households and captivate weak women, weighed down with sins, led on by various impulses, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Just as the as Janus and John Braze opposed Moses, so these men also oppose the truth, men of depraved mind rejected in regard to the faith, but they will not make further progress for their to their folly will be obvious to all, just as Janus and Jambre's folly was also. Verse 10, now you have followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, perseverance, persecutions and sufferings, such as happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium and at Lystra, which persecutions I endured and out of them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted but evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse deceiving and being deceived verse 14 you however continue in the things you have learned and become convinced of knowing from whom you have learned them and that from childhood you have known the sacred writings which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. That's the end of chapter three. Wouldn't you love to be trained in righteousness and be adequate and be equipped for every good work for our Lord. I know I would, I love doing what I do, but there's always more that we can do for our Lord. And he will put that in your pathway. If you ask him, you ask the Holy Spirit within you to show you, to guide you the path that, to the path that the Lord has for you, because you have a gift, my friend. Every single one of us has a gift. Some of us don't know what they are yet, but please ask the Lord to show you your gift you will be surprised and you will might turn around and say, no, I can't do that. But you have been blessed with that gift by the Lord. So use it for his sake, for his glory. Next time we've got chapter four, which is the last chapter of 2 Timothy. It's titled Preach the Word. And after that chapter, we'll be going on to Titus. So please join me for that one. Until next time, please stay safe. Take care. May the Lord bless you greatly today. I love you all.